Hello again, folks. We're now going to do a potato reveal, okay? <coughs> um, we're now going to do a potato reveal of Lenorma, Melody, and King Edward. So we'll get these tubs cleared up and uh, we'll get on. Let's see what we get. I bet that'll be crap because of the because of what they're growing in. They're growing in the sort of sandy soil, so we'll get on. I'll do some more updating on the website today, so there'll be a few more links to pop links on there. And that so once Windows 10 is finished. Really? But, right. I'll drag this old bugger out. Got tater, right? Tater's really growing in. Jesus, this one is the Norma. So, that's a new variety. Far many times, so I thought we'd try it ourselves. Not feel jack crap in that. Oh! Well, there's a. I don't think there'll be no biggins. Leave it out, lovely job. I now wish I'd left these now. <laughs> cool, these have had plenty of water, folks. They're plenty wet enough in here. Jeez. Not be much. But I don't know, that might be good enough for next year. Of course, she's wet now. Oh, yeah. I can't think of how these are spelt now. I'll let you know at the end of the video how these are spelt. There's four potatoes in here, so four seed potatoes on that, so tell you what, that might be something to have next year. So these are a chipping variety. Uh, it's the first time I've, first time I've tried them because it's the first time the farm I've had them. But, I'll tell you what, they don't look too bad, so I'm not expecting much off them, as in weight wise, so, because I don't think they'll be that much. But, they got decent on what they so. I'll get every last one. But so they'll go just nicely tonight. They all go in the shed. Right. So that is spelt. If you want to know what how it's spelt, it's spelt. Uh, what is it? L A N O R M A. Lenorma. Right, now we'll do the um, we've done the desari, so we'll now do the uh, we've done the estima. So 
we'll now um, sorry, so we'll now do these are I think what are these ones? Can't find the bloody label in there now. <laughs> so where it is right. I'll take that one crap out. I expect to be much on here. Might be another bloody surprise. What are these? I've got a label here. These are Melody. So, I'll we'll probably be having these next year. Right. Not too bad. Not looking bad at all. It's a bit small. We can we can deal with small potatoes. So I'll just put that in. So they're melody. Morrisons have these quite a lot for pre-pack, so they're a great tater. They're decent sizes if they're if they're left, but I want to get this lot done to finish with, so because they're they're all right tubs, potatoes in tubs, but there's there's a lot, of, you know. But I suppose if you just you have the soil like I've got here, you know, it shouldn't. It's not too much of a problem. Ugh. Old seed, it's like snot when that all breaks down. Too bad, really. I would say one. Well, I think there's probably not even four pound. I think. I think there's less. I mean, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sing and dance over the yield. I would say it's quite low. As in that. So, but now the the bags that I've come across looked. You know, I'll probably just get a sample and just see what they're actually like. You know, first. So I might buy some. Towards the end of the year, and well, because the tubs are just that'll be so expensive for tubs. Um, and then, sort of get next year, I'll sort of get 20 bales of compost, as in a verve 125 litre. Um, so, I know that probably seems over the top doing it all like that, but that's um, you know. <laughs> Means I can't grow them in the ground at the minute until we, you know, for at least two years until we get it treated and that. So, but that all depends on how long we're going to be sort of here. So, because I think when you know, it might be a time to get a lot, get a plot on the allotment. So, then you've got the problem with vandals and all that. So, I don't know. We'll see. Right. That's all done. So that was Melody. Okay. So you've got down here, you've got a lot of small ones, Melody, the Norma. Right, now we'll do Mr. Redwood. So, what you get next month, all these tatters will be going down by this coming month. I know the old sample of mirrors, they don't die off that quickly, so. Alright, King Edward. There's a lot of small ones with King Edward, so I'm not banking on there being hundreds. <laughs> right. I'm gonna get dirty, get dirty. These have been in here, I'm just trying to think when they went when these are planted. Um I think they were planted. Uh, April time. Uh, they've been April, May, June, July, and they're August, so. Shut up. 
should have a little knife here with me, but I ain't got one. They need a lot of water. They're on the bloody top, that's the thing. So I'll look over. There's a lot of small ones in here. I don't think there'll be anything over there than what? Because on the farm here they normally harvest the Edwards last because they're because they're a small potato because there's a lot of them and they need quite a long time to grow. A bit like Cara, they need a lot of time to. If you want real decent sized Cara, you have to leave basically until late as possible. Because they're, you know, there's they're small tater, you know. Well, they, they, you know, if you want the real big ones, then you're best to leave, leave them for as late as possible. So, I'm not too sure that's going to weigh. So, I'm not expecting a massive bloody crop because I know I shan't, or massive weight. Nothing compared to what I had off the kestrel, which I thought was bloody cracked. You know, that's. Bloody good, I thought. You know, so I don't think there's any more in there. Um, well, so that's like, and can get sieved out and sort, and that's all right. So that's uh, King Edward, the Norma, and Melody, folks. So you can see if that's not in the way. So. Back in a minute, I'll just do a quick weigh in. So I'll just get my bag and scales out of the old shed. Right. So we'll get weighing, we'll get weighing these, I think these above, I think what, three pounds, three, four. I'm not going to bank on being hundreds and hundreds, but, you know, not, nothing like what we had on the cash, there'll be nothing like that, I'll tell you now, so. But this Lenorma looks bloody good, so. Definitely be something we'd have next year. Now this will be the last potato reveal, probably until um, until we start properly lifting them. So that will be September time. All right, so that's the last of the summer sort of potato reveals. And that, you know, bag the rest of these up. I don't mind this more. Let's see if we can find a pick up.
should have left these now, but... Mm, I've got a feeling. I'll say it's eight four. I'm feeling the weight of the bag, so... I'm not going to, as I said, I'm not going to shout that there's hundreds and... Colossal weight, because I know that's not a colossal weight. Tell you what, that's near four and a half pound, folks. You can see it's just just near just near four and a half. So. It's pretty good that really, there's quite a few, there's a few big ones in there, but, see so the thing is, so when I'd basically, I'll um, so that's about it for now folks, or it for today folks, see you later.